hold on. <laughs> I am, hey guys, today I am here with a very, very, very serious video for you guys. I just got home from school. I've just found out so many things last night and I just needed to make this video as soon as I could. I had a whole other video planned for you guys this week. I was get, gonna get ready to edit it and everything, but this video is so much more important. It's a video that I never thought I'd have to make and everything that I'm about to tell you guys is uh, to me it's extremely mind-blowing I am extremely shocked I just wanted to say if you watched my other video where I got my diva cut and you are planning to get a diva cut or if you use diva curl products don't get the diva cut stop using diva curl products and at least until you're done watching this video and then after you're done watching this video you know you can make any decision for yourself but I just want you to really listen to what I have to say <laughs> because all of this stuff is so so crazy so if you want to find out what in the hell I'm talking about keep on watching oh my god I cannot believe I'm making this video right now I'm making this video for you guys to help you guys out and to keep you guys from going bald in the way that I have and this video is going to be filled with so many pictures so many videos and just evidence of what I have to say for the past <laughs> I never thought that I was gonna make this video oh my god okay for the past couple of months ever since August I have been losing a lot of hair like extreme amounts of hair to the point where I thought that I was unhealthy I thought that you know there was something wrong with me I thought I had some type of disease it was that bad and I had no idea what it could be what it could have been I researched so many products so many things online about good shampoos to use and good conditioners and blah blah, blah so your hair won't fall out and blah 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 and never in my entire curly hair journey did I ever think that Diva Curl products could have been the issue because they claim to be perfect, the perfect remedy for your curls. If your curls are going away, all you need to do is get a Diva Cut and then use these Diva Curl products and then your curls are going to be amazing because it's no sulfate, no parabens. And I was sold. Honestly, I saw so many videos, so many of the people like of the youtubers that i watched and look up to use diva curl products and get diva cuts so the first thing i did was got a diva diva cut and then they used diva curl products on my head unfortunately now that i know this stuff i'm so glad that i didn't buy any of the products because they are so expensive but to make things worse i figured out i found out and that the these products are what has been making my hair fall out so let's begin with my hair journey so you guys can understand where i'm coming from so if you guys see me looking down i have all the pictures of my hair and stuff in my phone so it all started I guess I can go back and show you guys. I'm gonna scoot over here. That way I can put the pictures right here. So I have always had really nice ringlet hair, curly hair. All throughout high school, everybody would ask me, you know, oh, do you curl your hair? What do you do to your hair? What do you use on your hair? What curling iron do you use on your hair? Blah, blah, blah. And my hair throughout high school was always naturally curly and I'll, you know, insert pictures here. And it was really nice. I had really nice hair. It was like really nice and voluminous curls. I didn't have to use any heat on my hair. My hair would just naturally dry, curly, and voluminous, and pretty, and not frizzy or anything like that. So, right before I got my Diva Cut, which I got in September, like towards the end of August, beginning of September, because I remember that I, I was about to start school, my hair looked like this. 
and it was really nice, still really voluminous, really nice, pretty, shiny hair. Even after I had bleached my hair, I got my hair like dyed and stuff. Like my hair was really nice, it was really long. The only problem that I had in my hair was that my ringlets were kind of going away. So here you can see in this picture that like I have the whole big swoop going on in the front, which was a staple to my hair hair <laughs> my hairstyle i've always had that swoop in the front a really voluminous swoop and then as you can see like um little curls on the side the only problem was that like i wanted my curls to be a little bit tighter so i did a whole bunch of research and i you know the diva cut and the diva curl products blah blah, blah. so then i made my appointment and i went to the salon and i got a diva cut so what you guys don't know is i went ahead and got another diva cut several months later after Christmas because if you guys saw my previous diva cut video my curls the very next day were you know they were coming back and I was really really happy about it and then a week later my curls like my tight curls were coming in and my hair was looking really good and then so I figured that if I went to go get another diva cut my curls would be even tighter and even better and I was gonna film that entire video for you guys and I ended up not doing so because that wasn't the case. My curls didn't come back. My curls, like my hair was even worse than it was before. I started noticing that throughout, ever since August all the way to December, my hair was falling out like I would pull it and like in the shower and I would string entire sections of my head so here I have a picture this is gonna be really embarrassing but I remember I sent it I I'm so glad that I sent it to my friend Eric because I went through all of my you know like my Google photos my photos my Instagram pictures my messages and found as many pictures as I could to show you guys so this right here is how much hair I would lose sometimes even more a day a day every single time i showered i lost this much hair and i was like so confused i was like this has never happened to me i've never lost that much hair before you know it's super crazy i was going bald my hair was thinning like and i just blamed it on school because i had such a hard um semester last semester so i was like oh i'm just so stressed like i'm not eating enough like it's my fault like blah 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 next semester it'll be better because like it'll be a lot easier for me and stuff like that so i didn't pay attention to it like i was really really insecure about it but you know i was like oh it's just what i have to do i have to get through it so i can get through the semester so then i went a whole august september october november december five months with hair this much hair falling out of my head every single day um here is my hair let's say before the diva cut so i have this hair which was around christmas time last year um this picture which was like before my diva cut this other picture which was of course before my diva cut as well so that was that. I was losing so much, so much, so much hair to the point where here I'm going to insert a video clip. If you guys can see from this video, I kind of have a lot of hair towards the top and then at the bottom it's like really straggly and it barely looks like I have any hair. So I was losing a lot of hair from down here, like from the lower part of my head. Because every time I would pull it in the shower or like put in conditioner, it would just come out like I... Like, I could go like this and it would come out. So, it was to the point where my hair was, like, in layers. Like, I had quite a bit of hair up at the top. And then, like, I basically was losing the majority of the bottom of my hair because I was losing chunks. So, if you guys can see in this clip right here, um, it's, like, you know, towards the top. And then towards the end, you can see that I'm kind of, I kind of don't have a lot of hair. And I even have this picture here that I took on Christmas. If you guys can kind of see my hair like on this side, it barely looks like I have any hair. And then I also have these pictures. This was right after my diva cut as well. You can see right here that I have barely any hair. And then I even have this picture that I posted on my Finsta. This was when I first got my hair done. And then this was what my ponytail turned into um, after three months of being in school. And again, I blamed, I thought it was school, school, school. So then 
since that happened to my hair it was in different layers and it kind of looked like I had no hair towards the bottom. It was really straggly, really stringy, it looked really bad. So I went to go get a diva cut to even it all out and make it look like I had more hair than what I actually did to kind of give it like the illusion that I had hair. Then over Christmas my grandma got shingles unfortunately and of course that disease is contagious and I started getting a rash on the back of my neck like in my scalp and towards the back of my neck and it, it had, I had little blisters on my neck and I was like oh my god like I got chicken pox I got the shingles like blah blah, blah. it's super contagious like I was super scared and I remember I was at work and I took a picture of the back of my neck let me try to zoom in for you guys here and you can see like the blisters on my neck and this was shortly after I had gotten my diva cut because I got my diva cut after Christmas and on December 30th and then um, this picture is from the beginning of January like January something neck and it was all on the side of my neck and on my chest didn't even think twice about you know what products I was using I just thought it was the shingles here I have this picture of a couple videos back that I made um, trying this new makeup palette as you can see here I have a really nice like thick braid it looks really really pretty and then now I have this picture from Christmas where <laughs> my freaking braid is like so thin, like a ra it looks like a rat's tail. It's so, so thin. Here is a picture also a couple months before I got my first Diva cut where I had quite a lot of hair towards the bottom. And even in this picture here, you can see if I zoom into like my ponytail, I have barely any hair. And the only reason why it looks like I even have some hair is because I teased it, I curled it a little bit, I added products and all of that. So now, fast forward to now. This is what my hair looks like now. My curls aren't, you know, they're not the greatest. And my hair overall, has just been looking very very dull very dry hair isn't even supposed to be frizzy while it's wet but my while my hair is wet it's frizzy uh, like it just looks so bad I get out of the shower my curls obviously when you have curly hair you're not supposed to wash it every single day because it dries out your scalp it dries out your curls so my curls back then used to be able to last me like you know second to third day hair and even on my third day hair like my curls were still there now I get out of the shower my curls are looking good a little bit and they last a couple hours and then they're gone and my hair is kind of back to being like the whole straight slash wavy situation super dry I constantly have to be putting oils in my hair to like tame it down there's no volume in my hair anymore I used to be able to not wash my hair for like two to three days and then on, a, on the third day was when my hair was like starting to get oily so then I'd have to wash it now I'll take a shower or like let's say I took a shower yesterday night and by today my hair is already extremely extremely greasy I didn't know what was going on I didn't know what was happening like this had never been happening to my hair and it was just also crazy like my hair is so greasy but at the same time it's so dry my curls aren't coming back my curls are gone like questioning myself like what am I doing wrong I'm eating fine you know I'm working out I'm drinking a lot of water I'm taking vitamins and nothing seems to be working and it was just so frustrating everything was going wrong and I was growing so insecure and it was just such a stressful time for me because you blame yourself for so long and then you come to find out that it was never your fault in the first place yesterday last night one of my favorite youtubers um, she used to be a diva curl influencer posted a video about why she stopped using diva curl products and I was shocked to say the least everything that she said was like wow like I'm going through the exact same thing the hair falling out the curls not lasting the greasiness and I was in shock and it comes to turn out that the diva curl brand itself has lawsuits against them because thousands of girls are going through the same thing that I am, that maybe you and I are. 
that their hair is falling, they're getting dandruff, blisters on their neck, <laughs> blisters on their neck, a dry scalp, itchy scalp, oil, like greasy hair, everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, If you guys want to check out the videos that I saw in regards to this, if you don't believe me, I'm going to link them down below. So my favorite YouTuber, her name is Aisha. She had so many Diva Curl videos. She uploaded this video and she started talking about this app called the Talk Dirty app. No, this video is not sponsored. I just downloaded this app yesterday. So it's an app where you can look up your products and it'll tell you if they're good or not on a scale of 1 to 10. So 1 being that it's really clean and 10 being that it's really, really bad for your hair. So if you look up Diva Curl products, all of them are 8s out of 10 in terms of how bad they are. All of them, all of them, all of them are 8s. Basically what these products are doing is they use some type of chemical or some type of material that binds to your hair so strongly and that's why a couple days or a week after your, your diva cut, your hair looks so good. Give me one freaking second. And I first started doubting this a couple months ago when I saw this video on TikTok and she took a strand of her hair and scrap, scraped it with a pair of scissors and she you can see like the buildup on her hair. But watch this. Guys, can you guys see that? I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> I am... Hold on. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know what to say, guys. Like, I don't even know, like... It's been months since I've gotten my diva cut and it's still built up on my hair and that's what's causing the thinning of my hair, the falling out, the blisters on my neck, the red itchy scalp, the grease on my head because everything is so built up on top of each other. <sighs> my curls have been suffering way before I even got my first diva cut, you know, but I had never, it was like my curls weren't there, but it was like my hair wasn't falling out, my hair wasn't thin, my hair wasn't greasy and oily as it is now. So I took the Talk Dirty app and I have so many products that I've bought for curly hair, expensive products too, specific shampoos, specific conditioners that claim to you know be for curly hair and freaking hair oils that claim to have no mineral oils no silicones no parabens no gluten no sls no sulfates no synthetic dyes no blah 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 made with a hundred percent aloe extract or whatever and i looked all of them up on this talk dirty app and they were all eight or out of ten nine out of ten 10 out of 10, bad for your hair. So now I'm like, wow, like this is why my curls have been suffering. I had been putting all these bad products on my hair and then on top of that, I added the horrible, horrible Diva Curl products that are glued onto my hair now. And if you've been experiencing these things along with me, and if you have been using Diva Curl products, which are really expensive by the way, and you've been noticing that your hair has been going wrong and your hair is falling out and your curls are going bizarre now you know why i spent like an hour yesterday trying to find a good product for curly hair and all of the products that i researched that i looked up were all bad because honestly you hear about pharmaceutical corporate companies you hear about corporate dentistry you hear about corporate medicine medical field but what we fail to realize is that 
shampoos and marketing and everything you're buying works like corporate too these companies sell you really expensive products that you spend tons of money on and they claim to freaking care so much about you and so much about your hair and you spend thousands honestly these are not even half of the products i've probably spent thousands of dollars on hair products even in this product right here you can see the check marks about how it says they claim to have all these things and you think that it's the perfect product and you finally found the perfect product and they're all lying to you just because they want your money and they do a really good freaking job at deceiving before you buy a product look it up on this thing dirty app and find out if it's a good product for you so as of now the only brand that i have found that is actually good for curls is the shea moisture brand here's the shea moisture brand i'm actually gonna go buy throw all this stuff away <laughs> right now and buy the shampoo the curl cream and the conditioner from this brand you can get it from the dollar store you can get it from walmart you can get it from target and I just want to switch my hair products to organic, as organic as possible, as safe as possible for my hair. And hopefully my curls will be thanking me. So Diva Curl, you're not going to be getting my money anymore. Not going to be getting a Diva Cut ever again. Whole blends, you're not getting my freaking money anymore. Freaking Hask not getting my money one and only you're not getting my money just please if you really care about your hair download this app i honestly just want what's best for you guys and best for your curls and hopefully you guys see this video before you get your diva cut that way you can save yourself from your hair falling out your hair drying out rashes and all the things that I have gone through in the past couple of months. Maybe my hair is just sensitive and this is why these things are happening to me. Everybody's hair is different. If you find that you're using whatever shampoo and that works fine for you, then that works fine for you. And disregard this video completely. But maybe you have a friend with curly hair and she's experiencing these things and maybe you can help her out. I don't know. I'm just very shocked very enlightened very glad that i found all of these things out thank you guys so so much for watching i hope this helps some of you guys stay tuned for the next video and i love you guys so so much so i'm about to go to the store and buy myself some shea moisture shea shea i don't know but yeah bye guys